Come on. Come on. I know. I, I know. I heard them. Did it wake you up? Or? No, no, but I came in the garage to get my shoes and I could hear the leaf blowers. I'm like, ah, great. It's very nice. Come on, come on. Hey, come on. Come on, buddy. No, it's nice. It's hot. It's comfortable. Well, for the morning, it's not bad. It just shows how fast the weather's going to change. Right? I know. You'll be dying of heat soon. You'll be telling me, I can't take this heat. I know. <laughs> You'll be like, Good morning. Good, how are you? Okay, come on. Come on. Yeah, it's funny. I went to I went to go look at flights, dude, to see to fly back to Mass to see my family while wow, this, you know, I had this weekend canceled and I'm off next weekend. Mm. But the tickets are still expensive. The tickets hmm. are still pricey. I figured they would, they would, you know, I, I can imagine the flights aren't going to be as full, but it seems like the ticket prices are still the same. I heard on the radio, it's funny you say that, because I heard on the radio last week that they were offering that crazy deal, like $9.99 and $20, 20 bucks for flights, like certain places, because people weren't flying. Wow. So that's kind of Yeah, I saw strange. pictures yesterday, people posted the flights weren't that full. If this dog's out over here, you got to watch Capone, he runs at the gate. <laughs> He gets excited. There's a huge great day in behind the scene. Oh, really? Get, you gotta get on film. All right. So what he does? He, he's, he's, he has no fear of big dogs. Who's that? Huh? Who's that? Who's that? You gonna go see your friend? Hey, you gonna go see your friend? She said he was around big dogs. Oh, look, 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 look. look. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Go see your friends. Go see your friends. Where are they? You wanna go see? Look. See the size of the dog? Oh yeah. He puts his nose to it. It's okay, he's okay. He's pretty brave considering that he's behind yeah. the fence, huh? Like I'll take him. Yeah. Cute. I put Daisy down a little bit and she gets mad because I don't let her walk as much. Yeah, she won't go up to the fence. <laughs> they say dogs don't have, uh, they don't have fear of the size of other dogs. Really? They're crazy then. I don't know if that's true or not though. <laughs> mm. Maybe some of our dog experts can tell us. Yeah, that. I don't know. You ever think about how they know, how people do these studies and how do they know what they, I'm not going to bring it back, I'm going to back up. <laughs> People asked that, I think, last time. Yeah. Where's the bag? Now I gotta bring a bag. Oh, I thought she, usually she gets up and goes to the bathroom, so I will get a bag and you'll see me clean that up. Yeah, yeah I'm not, I'm not Isaac, filming that. Isaac is gonna I know. Is say, I'm not filming that. Come on. Isaac. Come on, I'll let you walk a little bit. These babies. This makes my whole day, though. This is my peace in the morning. Yeah, I get it. I let you sleep in a little bit this morning. You did. I was up, though, by like 7.45. I was checking out the comments already, so. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Daisy. Jay walking. <laughs> we are back. And we would not have this special episode of Jaywalking more than likely if we were flying today. Yeah, maybe we would have got up early for that. What? We were supposed to fly at 9, right? flight was at nine yeah so now that it's here and we're here and like we're in the mix i'm like damn i miss it you know i know i was kind of dreading the flight and i know getting off the flight we would have had the event today that bullfrog event which yeah. is still going on but uh you know i i wanted to mention i i don't know if you knew this but i had reached out to coleman not too long ago ronnie oh, you didn't tell me yeah when he was in the hospital and he was telling me hi guys uh and he was telling me how excited he was to go to the Arnold Classic because he missed the, the Fit Expo LA. Oh. So, uh, you know, he was recovering from his, another hip surgery and he had a clot. So, 
uh, it was kind of cool to, to speak to him a little bit. How do you sound? I still see a lot of stuff. He sounded good. You know, okay. he sounded very positive. Good. Um, I was watching yesterday on the internet. I saw he, he has a podcast or some sort of thing he does with guys. With guys, yeah. Yeah. That's good. But it made me think back to, you know, when I watch the hype on these shows and, you know, not to pat you or myself on the back, but we really did the Sergio thing right for leading up to the show, which I, did don't, you know like why it? The, I don't know why the hell you called it Under the Radar. He, that was his choice. Oh, uh, well. I asked him, think about a good, si- a good title for the, the series. By the time it was ending, it was, he wasn't so much Under the Radar. That, I told him that in the video. I mean, if anything, he was one of the most hyped guys going, in, especially now he has a controversy with Patrick Moore. Yeah. It's a big question mark, who's going to place more, who's going to yeah. place better, you know? Yeah. Uh, but the rivalries aren't there. I mean, we saw a little bit of the Kai and Phil thing, which I still see them kind of going back and forth, but I predict both those guys will stay retired. Really? I think so. Hmm. I don't think we'll see Kai Green come back, and I don't think Phil Heath will come back either, but... What if they throw money at Kai? Eh. That's what Palombo says on his last thing. Yeah, but you know what, Kai's... I think Kai's doing okay money-wise. Yeah. Your heart needs to be in it. I mean, there was some... There's something Chris and Cito and I always talked about... Good morning. Uh, that you have to have the mindset like a year in advance in order to, if you're gonna come back and win a title, yeah, you gotta kind of know. You can't just decide in June after being a, on a hiatus for three, four years. Well, I don't know how long it's been. Yeah. So all of a sudden, oh, I'm gonna come back and win the Mr. Olympia. You know. How long's it been? Five years. I know, 40, but when you look at him, he looks like he could yeah, still compete. But you like. know what, Dave? It's it's one of those things where. In 13, I looked like I was, like, right there where I used to be, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that didn't uh, that didn't really get to, to showcase as much, you know? Yeah. I see what you mean. So, I think with with Kai and Phil, they, that whole buildup was, was there. But we don't have that now. You understand? Right. There's not a lot of stuff going on with... Okay, who's gonna be? I mean, I guess Bonnet's kind of building, like his his status, right? Yeah. He's staying in his spot because he's been first or second in a lot of these shows. People forget that. I think when you're walking into the Arnold and you say who's the front runner, I mean Bonnet's been the winner, and then he finished second, and, and now he's like the talked about guy, and he was second at the Olympia too. So that's he's right. Pretty consistent. Always, he's always in shape. Yeah, no doubt. And I met him when he was very, like, not unknown, you know? Um, but we don't have the rivalries, and I think that's affected... Like, I think that's what the excitement of bodybuilding is, when you know these guys are going to battle each other. I mean, I hate to say it, even... Remember the days of King Kamali and Craig... Titus. Titus. Oh, yeah. Remember those battles? That was exciting, man. They were going to go out into the press conference and Can nuts. you imagine if they had social media and not just magazines? Oh, my God. Yeah, like he, they were like flaring arms. Oh my and, God! On stage. And Craig was like, "Don't you think that I can't come down and kick your ass if because of where the press conference?" <laughs> I was just like, "Geez." Yeah. He I mean, was a nut. Yeah. But people love that stuff because it's like wrestling. When you're in a sport <laughs> or a business, I hate. I hate some people question is a sport. You know, it's judged by scorecards and we don't know what the judges are going to score no one's right. knocking someone out or right. beating someone in a race right right, right. Uh, so you need that kind of excitement so how do you build those rivalries well they're built through placings of the contest you know ronnie and i were very, so close for so many years and while people think ronnie dominated and then others think that i could have won on certain years which yeah it's questionable I'm not sitting here making that claim like I should have won or could have won. I should have won in 2001 based on the oh, cards yeah. for sure. But that kind of built it up for the many years forward. And you and I, I mean, you were on my team. And you remember after all those shows, how much of a letdown. And, you know, you yes. had to go back to the store because you were working at the Max Muscle Store yeah. in Venice then. And you were telling everyone prior to the show, I'm telling you Jay's going to win. <laughs> so, and then these... <laughs> these F's, I'm not going to swear, would come in and they'd be like, I told you, Yeah. I told you Ronnie was going to win, but what was nice is no one ever got past me for that second place status. <laughs> that, so if someone said, so-and-so was coming up, or, you know, we saw Gunther, we saw 
but Gustavo Bedell, we saw Dexter Jackson. We Kai saw, even, the yeah, rise I of mean, Kai. Remember yeah. Kai in 09, like he moved to Vegas and did the whole um, Rocky Four type thing. Uh-huh. And he trained in Vegas with Oscar Arden and all that. And remember some guy came to the store prior to the show and he was like, oh my God, I'm telling you Kai's going to win and everything. And you had lost to Dexter the year before. Oh, uh, we know that guy's name. Of course we do. We're it. not going to say it. And then I'm like, you're nuts. Jay's going to win and stuff. And so we basically had an argument and I kicked him out of the store. And of course, after prejudging, when you killed everybody, he comes as we're getting out of the athlete's uh, interest. Yeah. Oh, Jay, Jay. And I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> In front of dude, everybody. You got so mad. Right? Oh, that was, oh, that was great, dude. I, I can't even remember. Like, it wasn't planned or anything like that. I just, like, he, I just stopped him in his track. I'm like, dude, don't even. Don't come up here after, like. <laughs> kick, kick, he yeah. was there, like, the week prior saying, I'm yeah. telling you, like. Yeah, you Kai's going to kill Jay and all this stuff. Crazy how that goes, right? <laughs> I was glad, dude. I remember in 06, I actually had a bet with someone on Muscle Mayhem, which was Chaz Nichols' side at the time, <clears throat> that you were going to win against Ronnie. 100 bucks. Uh, was it that, that one or was it? Uh, yeah, I think it was Muscle Mayhem, and I won, of course. And yeah. one of the moderators actually told me, "Oh, come on, you're not gonna make him pay." He's a student. I'm like, "Hell yeah, you better pay me." <laughs> I got the hundred bucks. Did you really? <laughs> yeah, I made money off your name in uh, 06. <laughs> yeah, and every year when I I, to- I talked about this when we used to go to Milos's gym, you know, we started at Club Metrics, we do the shoots yeah. there, and then you know we we end up migrating over to Milos's. Uh, Coliseum. Coliseum. It was powerhouse, right? Or yep. gold or whatever. Yep. And then, you know, so Ronnie would come in and do his shoot. And then I would usually go after Ronnie. So I'd ask Chris Lund, how did Ronnie look? And he's like, <laughs> oh, he looked great. But I remember in 06 when I came in, you know, I think Ronnie had been there. And he's like, holy, sh-, you know, I was 276. <laughs> oh, dude. And you had those pictures. Remember? You yes. Your camera? You asked me and you would never do that. Yeah. You said, do you have your camera on you? And I said, yeah. And he said, you want to take some pictures and post them online? take some pictures too? Oh, he flipped out. When he saw that you yeah, let me yeah. take pictures, he went to go grab his cameras in the office and he posted a whole bunch. McGuff was pissed, actually. Remember that? Why? Because you were under contract with Weeder and we were leaking pictures of you looking that great oh, on the really? social. Yeah, he was not happy about it, but he let it go. But I'm just saying. It was good uh, hype for you. Yeah. That was like, what, 10 days out from the show or something like that? I think it was two weeks. Yeah, 10, 14 days. Yeah. And he looks so great. Ugh. And, and then the whole hype train started but you on know you. what's funny, Dave, is I remember thinking when I drove back to Vegas, I'm like, I just need to hold this. Yeah. I just need to hold this shape. Yeah. How am I going to do it? Because remember, I was eating so much food. Yeah. You were huge. I mean, I was still almost 280. And uh, I'm like, how am I ever going to get, like, be where I need to be? I ended up competing in a low... 70s 270s when i the first night when i actually won the show and then i was 267 for the final victory and we never talk about this because we don't really do that on the channel but for that show you never took direct at all either nope which was unheard of yeah you felt so great you looked so great you were healthy you were not tired you were not dead that was a great show for us you know that was the thing with me and we talk about anti-estrogens and you know, there's a lot of anti-estrogens that guys use in the shows, you know, mm. when they train and it helps with water retention and yeah. with the estrogen levels, right? But I didn't know anything really about estrogen and and that's the main thing is, you know, the crazy thing is, is when I started, I worked with Chris Aceto for God knows how many years Forever. and we never talked about drugs. Really? Yeah, and I know it's hard for people to believe, but he never asked me hey, what do you take, or what da 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 It was always about the diet, always, because I just made this comment to you, how much you've transformed uh, since you started training back in November. And it's not like, do I ask you, hey, what do you take? No, we never talk no, about it. No, we never yeah. talk about it, because I know what you eat now. Yeah. And I know I just talked about you bumping up the food from five meals to six meals. Yeah. And I know you were struggling to get five. Yeah. I was. And now look what's going on. So, yeah, it's crazy because the food is so it's so important. And I think you know I, I reminisce about these events and like what I did kind of to chase Ronnie and make the difference when we had that first and second thing. And I mean, the food was a huge huge factor. Yeah, I remember you'd ask me what are you eating. It wasn't you never asked me what I was taking. No, 
it was always like, how are you eating different or? Well, first you don't ask a pro bodybuilder, what's your stack? It's just, you just don't do it. It's stacky and stuff. I mean, if they volunteer information, that's great, but it's just like, you just don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> to me, I, I don't know. I would never go to Sean Roden or any other people. I'm friends with most of these guys, but I've never went to any of them saying, hey, what's your stash? What do you take? It's, yeah, yeah. I just don't do that. It's, I don't know. I don't get people who do that. But. Well, they think it's a secret, which I understand from <coughs> the outside world yeah. now. And, uh, but I would rather, like you said, I would rather ask them, what do you eat? Actually, you know what? It's funny because I did ask that question to Sean Roden recently because I was told by you that Chris is someone who would say, okay, um, ec- uh, eat uh, X amount of protein, X amount of carbs, X amount of fat when he sends you diet or yeah. he would tell you per meal. So I asked Sean, does he do the same thing to you? And he said, you know, uh, I know he does that, but to me, I need to be told you need like to eat. Exactly what food? Yes. You eat and all that. Yeah, t- ten ounces of salmon and you know x amount of potatoes. That, you know, he needs that structure. So it's yeah. different for everyone. You know. Yeah. And I was surprised he said that. Ooh, nice. Look at that. Yeah. So everyone's different. Some people need more structure and guidance. I guess I don't know. Yeah, some people need it. Like I told you, he, he put 50 grams of protein, yeah. 75 carbs, yeah. you know, that kind of stuff. And like, yeah. we didn't really count the fat, to be honest. Yeah. But to go back, like the Ronnie era and all that, like, not to say that my training style changed. I did chase his training style. Oh, you, you remember? Did? Yeah. I never did a T bar row in my life until I realized how to beat Ronnie Coleman in the back department. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't necessarily deadlift in my routine until I realized I had to beat Ronnie Coleman. So th- I put out that post a long time ago on Instagram and I said, you know, does a bodybuilder need to deadlift? And it definitely helped my back, but it definitely made my waist wider, which was unfortunate. Mm. Because I did have, for, you know, not a blessed with a super small waist, but a, definitely a smaller waist than what I had, the obliques. Yeah. Because I had a good set of abs, right? Yes, and I had a flat great. stomach. And never, yeah, exactly. So yeah. I did chase him as far as that side. But I think our diets were totally different. Like he he ate like barbecue sauce on his food. and But he was doing three hours of cardio a day. Yeah, and he was eating out at Outback. Yeah. And I wouldn't do that on the diet. You no, remember, I was no. so particular. You cooked everything yourself. But I think what I look forward to mo- the most, Dave, in the... In those years of like 06 and 07 and 08 and 09 and whatever was coming to LA after the event and being able to walk in Gold's Venice and being like, <laughs> I'm solidified as like the king, <laughs> the best guy, you know, besides Ronnie. Yeah. For a lot of those years until after 06, right? Yeah. But I remember when my picture got up on the wall, like, that was a big deal. You made that happen. Dude, we didn't wait too long after you who, won. Who helped you do it? I contacted uh, Weeder offices. Okay. Because uh, who was doing the pictures back? Kevin back? Horton. Well, Kevin Lisa Horton. Clark was doing the pictures, I think. Yeah, before that, there was uh, Robert Reef was the first one. Okay. So he had like the background picture when you guys get off the stage and compete and stuff. So they basically hooked me up with him. They sent me the file. I got it blown up and put it on the cardboard, and I told Gold's here. There's the picture ready to go, and that was it. They went up like literally two two weeks after. Yeah, that was great. And I remember, was I there for the hanging? I think so. You couldn't wait. We couldn't wait for you to get up on the wall. It was such a big achievement, you know. Yeah, and I think my picture looked the best, you know. That's great. Because it was the most updated one, right? Because Ronnie's was back when cameras weren't as digital. Yeah. And then I had a nice digital picture. It was a real professional one, yours. Yeah, not a stage shot, nothing like a you know, I studio. Guess, you know, I need to put that the extra year up there. I know we need to do that. The one that's up there now is really cool, and that was, that one's by Kevin Kevin Horton. Yeah, and that was actually prior to the Olympia. That was. And who did the picture with you taking the picture of me? I mean, who, Kevin Horton. I know, but who decided to put that up? Uh, How did that get up there? I think I think I just I just blew it up and I gave it to them and they put it up. So I, wonder Kevin, if we, I wonder if we gave him any more pictures, would they put it up? If you're on it, Maybe I'm sure. Maybe that's a goal. Maybe that's a goal. Put a new one? I think we should put a new one. <laughs> I think we should get a good shot of... That quad, that quad stomp, dude, that should, that should be inside Gold's Venice. Don't yeah, you think? you're right. You're right. That's iconic. Okay, that's your, that's your new duty. Okay. If My we project? Up, if we blow up the quad stomp, I mean... Damn, I could they, even... They'd put it up, for sure. They would? I have that as a high, uh, re, high res. I yeah, have, I just yeah. wonder if the MD cover would look really cool up there. You want to give the uh, the publicity yeah. <laughs> to MD at Gold? 
I mean, it was a very famous picture. I yeah. know. The one I have is from Purper now, I think. Yeah. Or Kevin, one of the two. I bet Purr has a really good uh, <clears throat> black and white of that. So that's going to be our next thing. Yeah. Who wants to see the quad stomp on Gold's Gym Venice? Yeah, there you go. Leave comments. <laughs> or am I, uh, I got too many pictures up there. Yeah, you don't have that many. How many uh, do you have? One, two, three? Yeah. Three, I think. Yeah. You're due for one more. Okay. We'll ask Jeff. <laughs> okay. Is Jeff in charge of that? I'm sure. You know what? You want to go soon? If we catch him, you need to ask him yourself. Yeah, maybe, and that's, this, yeah. maybe this weekend. Yeah. yeah, that'll be a yes for sure from you. The weather's so nice right now. Oh, my God. It's like summer. always love the springs out here. Yeah, it's great. Remember, this is a time about I picked up and I decided I was going to move to Vegas around this time of year. It was oh, yeah? Early, it was March after the Arnold. Okay. That I came out to visit someone, and I'm like, damn, this is nice out here. Yeah. Uh -huh. So... The rival days of Ronnie Coleman. You know what's funny is that you guys had that rivalry, but it was a quiet rivalry. Yeah, yeah. Like a we quiet respect, war. Yeah. We really respected each other a lot. Nothing was being said and negatively. To this day, yeah. um, he was confident he was going to win, and I seemed to be confident I was going to win. And, you know, remember the tensions backstage? You were backstage a couple years. Yeah. Pictures and yeah. You know what would piss me off, though, sometimes? I remember going to those Arnolds where you won. And after that, in the expo and stuff, people would be excited after prejudging or after you win. They would, I remember specifically, they would go to Ronnie, like, hey, Ronnie, what do you think? Jay looks pretty good. And then he would say, I didn't see anything that really uh, impressed me. Really? <laughs> and I would get so pissed. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, oh, he, yeah. He didn't pick me to be the next Mr. Olympia. He picked up Victor Martinez. <laughs> That's right. Remember. Yeah. That's another guy. Like, I think they're leaving out a few people. Steve Kukolo, Victor Martinez. Mm -hmm. Like, these guys look good, man. Great. Like you see the thing, picture of Victor? Was that that's like, back shot? Was that now? Yeah. I mean, Steve told me when I was when I was back there a couple months ago. He said Victor actually looks really good. Yeah, that's a. They that, say this is his last show, though, huh? I could see that. A lot of people retiring this year. He's only forty-five, though. No, he's my age. He's forty-six. Oh, okay, forty-six. But still, that's young. He'll be forty-seven in July. Okay. We're both the same age, a few days apart. That seems young to he me. He has the same birthday as Arnold, I think. Oh, wow. I mean, Arnold. We're all Leos. Oh, yeah. This guy works on his project every day here. That makes sense. Leos, like Cormier. You know Cormier had no clue he was a Leo like you? That you were the yeah, same no, sign? he knew. He knew? Okay. Yeah, because he wishes me happy birthday every year. Oh, okay. Well, maybe he was... He might have been, like, forgot of it. Yeah, he must have been. He must have been concentrating... Sergio yeah, because he just texted me. He just texted me that like recently. Oh, I didn't know me and Jay had the same birthday. Yeah, he's the 14th, I think, of August. Oh, okay. So he's the same sign. Yeah. Oh yeah, we had the Cormier battles too. That's a good rivalry between yeah. me and him at the yeah. Arnold. Oh yeah. A little controversy there. Yeah. That's Love good. Cormier though. Yeah, he's great. Cormier introduced me to Steve Murphy. Yep. Steve Murphy saved my career. That's right. Now he's gonna help you. I'm going to go see him next week. Are you excited to start again? I can't wait. I'm not taking my body fat, though. No? <laughs> not yet. But I'll, over time, I'll take it. Um, you know what's going to happen, dude? I'm going to be jealous that you're going to Steve I again. Know. I'm going to have to. I know. I started looking at some properties there, too. <sighs> it's so nice there. Uh, Orange County is a little cheaper than uh, it Marina. Is? Yeah. I'm shocked. In that area. Really? Wow. Yeah. So make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed more jaywalking to come yep and uh always appreciate you guys uh remember the rivalry check into that if you guys haven't seen any videos of me and ronnie working to try to win that title make sure you guys check it out okay yes talk to you guys